Welcome into the Beat Sessions, a place for all things music. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. Hope the weekend is being good to all of you and that you're enjoying some of that new music that dropped on Friday. It's kind of a bittersweet segment to lead things off for the week of September 8th, but I'm pretty thrilled to be able to talk about Mark Linkus and this new album from Sparkle Horse entitled Bird Machine. This is the sixth studio album from Mark, including collaborations, and his follow-up to A Dark Night of the Soul, which was a collaboration that he did with Danger Mouse that was released back in 2010. If you're not familiar with that record, it's stunning. You know, these two guys teaming up on a project alone is just really damn cool to talk about. But all the guest appearances on that record, Iggy Pop, you have Julian Casablancas from The Strokes, Susanna Vega, uh, Black Francis is on that thing, just to name a few. The, the lineup of featured artists on that record is so cool. Uh, Vic Chestnut, another one who tragically passed, took his own life a year before that album was released. And tragically, Mark did the same thing about a year later. Um, it's just a, a terrible loss, a lovely human being, someone who was very well respected and still is very well respected in the music community. Um, and, a, and an unsung hero, a guy that I don't think really received the, the talk, the, the hype that he deserved for what he brought to music, what he brought to the table, and all the people that he worked with over the years. It's, um, it's really cool to have this record, because if you're familiar with Dark Knight of the Soul, you know that when that album came out, there was talk about another record that was in the works. And this is that record. And I think most of us, after 13 years, we're just kind of accepting the the fate of this thing that it would never see the light of day. Matt, his brother, and his wife, Melissa, um, members of, of the band over the years. Mark kept this thing a family affair, which is pretty cool in my opinion. It took it took a lot of time for them to go back and and to be able to even just listen to this music. I can't imagine how hard that would be. This is the second record, too, that's in this category. We were talking about Luster Parfait earlier in the year and you know thanks thank you again to Bob Rock for for being able to to deliver that project that collaboration with Gord Downey that is just such a stunning record and I just I think that the world is a better place for being able to hear that music and I think the world's a better place for being able to listen to this record Matt and Melissa you know making an effort to do what was needed to complete these tracks some of them were done um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's really just a, a blessing that they were able to, to find the strength to take the time. And, you know, this album was, it's kind of a surprise, but these are, you know, these are tracks that these two have been working on for years. And so kudos to them for, for being able to, to do it. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, a, I, I imagine uh, there was a level of sacrifice on your level, but I imagine that this was a very cathartic process. Um, and in a lot of ways you were able to. I don't know, maybe cope with uh, parts of the grieving process that you weren't maybe ne necessarily able to approach before. So just thank you. Thank you for taking the time to give the world this record because Sparkle Horse, such an amazing project, and Mark was such an amazing man. And it's uh, it's great to have, um, you know, one more project to, to remember him by and to and to turn on a new generation of younger fans. It's been 13 years. So this is one of those... Bittersweet. You're talking about that, you know. You young people that are not familiar with this guy, sadly, you won't get to see him live. But you have an amazing catalog, an incredible catalog of music to go back and dig through. This guy, has such a unique style. And if you're gonna, I don't know, if if I gotta like highlight a couple of artists to to make comparisons, he reminds me of a combination of Elliot Smith and Granddaddy. If you're familiar with Jason Little, who's also on Dark Knight of the Soul. Granddaddy's a, a great outfit, a, lots of fuzzy guitars. I really like the quirkiness of that band. And then you have Elliot Smith, who, you know, a guy that very, you know, very dialed in when he was still around, very uh, sentimental. Um, you know, he had he had the ability like Mark to to really just create music that was so evocative, still is so evocative, just stirs your emotions. Something we talk about on the channel quite a bit, the the dichotomy that is life, the the good and bad, you know, taking the the sad and and the jovial and 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 trying to to find a way to make sense of it all. 
sadly, you know, Mark was a guy that, um, you know, in the end he, he, he lost that, but he was such a good songwriter. He was such a fine purveyor of, of demonstrating that balance that, you know, that, that thing that is just so hard for all of us and the challenge that we face every day when we wake up, taking the good with the bad. Um, but I, I just, I love the playfulness of his music as well. Bird Machine is a perfect, perfect title for this album. I feel like there's all sorts of bird references and other references to animals in his music. Uh, you know, he was a guy that appreciated nature and uh, I appreciate that about him. And just the the visuals that are there in the lyrics, the the storytelling, no matter what his approach is, it's, um, I'm just, I'm so thrilled that, that we were able to have one more project. And again, thank you to Matt and Melissa. This thing, it kicks off with It Will Never Stop, fuzzy alternative guitars, drums, um, just have a, like a really curious tone to it. I really, you know, this is where I was like feeling granddaddy a little bit, this album opener, garage rock, mid-tempo, it's a, uh, it's a hot number two, it goes pretty quick. It's like less than two minutes long, but Fun little way to open up this thing. Kind Ghost is your second track. Got these electronic style drums, lots of uh, electronic textures as well. And you get this gentle bass that just kind of like drifts and floats in the song. I really enjoyed that element. Little acoustic guitar works in. And there's just a great build into the coda. This is a, a really nice song. Enjoyed it very much. Evening Star Supercharger is your third song. Breezy track um, with this odd like prominent electronic element in the beginning of it anyway. It's kind of interesting. Another track that builds with excellent energy. I really like the way this song progresses. Oh Child is your fourth song. Um, this was this was a song that you know Matt and Melissa uh, talked about uh, the difficulty of of exploring these tracks and you know and also producing them in a way that it would have made Mark proud. And this is a track that it's um it, I really just I like the way you get this minimal piano and vocal. Um, it's really just a delicate feeling to this track. Light electronic harmonies hit um, on the last few lines as the lyrics go, and then it kind of just shifts, um, and you get this really psychedelic electronic experience for like two minutes in the coda. There's this soft voice of a child that's you know in and out. It's very eerie. It's a very eerie song, um, considering everything that we know now. Probably my favorite for that reason. It's I, I thought it it was kind of a challenge to listen to. And I appreciated that about the song. It is fascinating, a very fascinating song. And I think highlights so many of the wonderful things that made Mark such a great songwriter. Falling Down is your fifth song. Countdown uh, in the beginning. And then you get just like the electric guitar, piano, vocal, uh, drums and bass hit for this really just like mellow feel. Uh, it's a solemn track for sure. Uh, chorus explores some brighter melodies. And so I enjoyed that contrast there. Your sixth song, I Fucked It Up. <laughs> His fuzzy guitars and vocal, punk and garage rock. And these guys talk about, you know, like Mark talks about the beginning of his career and the influences that were there. And, you know, punk is definitely, you listen to this guy, no doubt. Uh, and a band like the Buzzcocks is, you know, I just immediately felt that band and that song, the title of it, everything. I love it. Hello, Lord is your seventh track. Nice change in dynamic here. You get this acoustic guitar and vocal. I love the production on the... Uh, on this track, the uh, nice Americana feel, get a, a little more guitar, and, and, and it's what, like, it, I think it's an accordion that's creeping in the background there. It's very light. I almost thought for a moment it was a harmonica, but I'm pretty sure it's an accordion that's there in the background, but really enjoyed that song. Daddy's Gone is your eighth track, breezy acoustic track, uh, groovy pop in the bass. Really thought that was a fine feature of the track, and I just I love the tone of that bass as well in that song. Chaos of the Universe, your ninth track. Another groovy bass-driven track. Uh, you got this acoustic backing to it, so I like that element. Uh, chorus fills out. You get like electric guitar, lighter melodies. Love the contrast there in that song as well. Your uh, tenth song, listening to the Higsons, is got grungy guitars, lots of fuzz in the vocal. Um, Melissa talks about that. She talks about you know how her and Mark would just like <laughs> spend hours playing with their voices, and I really like. Uh, that track kind of like highlighting that that thing that uh, that he would do from time to time. This thing, it rocks out in the chorus, uh, in the coda, excuse me, finds a, a great little groove throughout the track. It's a fun song. 
uh, everybody's gone to sleep. Your 11th track is uh, got the somber keyboard intro, and then the vocal takes over for a moment, and then it ushers in this light alternative Americana style track. Really a nice number as well. Uh, the piano that trickles in through this song is, is super awesome. Definitely a highlight for me. The Skull of Lucia is your 12th track. Uh, gentle drums, got a little bit of vibraphone in there, piano. Uh, and what sounds like a clarinet, I think, a little extra guitar in the coda there, very gentle number. And then your last two songs are interesting. Blue, uh, simple acoustic and electric um, uh, number. You got the second guitar that comes in uh, that's very complimentary and it's a little more playful, but a little instrumental here. Um, and then Stay is your final track. Light washes, uh, piano and vocal hit to close this thing out. There's, you know, 14 tracks, 44 songs. I love it. And this is kind of a, a short affair for him too. There's a, a level of respect for like the the pop construction of a song. And and that's what I dig about these things. They explore a lot of really cool territory staying within that framework. And that's something that that Mark always was always very aware, well aware of. And and I dig that about about his music. One of the many things. This is really a fine example of of so many things that that this man did well while he was alive. And uh, and it's just such a blessing to to kick the week on with this record. And if you've had a chance to listen to it, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't, if we're gonna vinyl please this thing. Check it out. I hope you find this review helpful. Share this video, like it, do all the things to help us blow this project up in 2023. And stay tuned throughout the week for more album reviews. The studio's coming along. I'm almost done, guys. The record shelf is gonna start coming up behind me here in a few days. So. I'm going to try to play some catch up here this week. No promises, but I want to pump out as much stuff as I possibly can because I have some notes on some really good records. We'll go back the last few weeks and explore some fun stuff. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves. See you next time on the Beat Sessions.